Privet yet. I'm Mr. Tiebetjev, and I will tell you about my famous inequality. Suppose you want to measure some physical constant, let's say the melting point of a recently developed steel. It may then be problematic to perform a single perfect measurement, so what people usually do is take a sequence of independent measurements and use the average as a supposedly accurate estimation of the true melting point. In this video I will give theoretical support why in general this is a good idea. The Chebyshev inequality will play an important role here. Throughout the video I will consider a sequence x1 up to xn of independent random variables with the same distribution, assuming the expectations and the variances of the xi exist, they will of course be equal, and I will denote them by mu and sigma squared. For so short, such a sequence is called an iid sequence. The average of the sequence is denoted by bar xn, so bar xn equals 1 over n times the sum. In the measurement example, the random variables xi are the individual measurements. It is quite something to assume identical distributions and independence. How would you guarantee this in practice? Well, why would we consider the average of measurements? First, look at its expectation. The expectation of the average is equal to the expectation of the individual xi. This follows easily from the rules of the expectation. At the second equality sign, the sum rule for the expectation is used. This rule holds even in the case of dependent variables. For the variance, we use the properties that you can see here. Note that for the sum rule, the independence is important. We can then deduce that the variance of the average is equal to the individual variance divided by n. This follows easily from the two properties of the previous slide. The first rule first, the second rule next, and then just rewrite. So for larger n, the variance of the average becomes smaller. Intuitively, this means that for larger n, the average will stay closer to the expectation. The picture gives a nice display of this. In the opening example, assuming the individual measurements have the exact melting point as expectation, the average will get closer to this true melting point as n increases. This idea is captured in a precise way by the so-called Chebyshev inequality. The probability that x takes on a value that differs more than a from its expectation mu is less than or equal to the variance of x divided by this distance a squared. When the distance a is expressed in sigma, the standard deviation, this gives the following often ruled, used rule of thumb. The probability of an outcome more than k sigma from the expectation is less than or equal to 1 over k squared. The great thing about the inequality is that it holds for every random variable. The drawback is that in many cases the information it gives is rather on the safe side. To illustrate this point, if k is 1, the inequality states that a certain probability is at most 1. This is certainly true, but it does not give us much information. Second, suppose x has a normal distribution with expectation mu and variance sigma squared. In this case, the probabilities of outcomes more than k times sigma from mu can be calculated explicitly. For instance, for k equals 2, by standardizing we find that the probability that x deviates more than 2 sigma from mu equals, equals 0.0456. Chebyshev's inequality gives that this probability is at most 0.25. Again, no one will deny that 0.0456 is smaller than 0.25. Quite a bit, I would say. To conclude, I recommend you to do the next two exercises. First, see how safe the rule of thumb is for k equals 2 for the uniform distribution on minus 1, 1. Second, once again return to the example we started with. Suppose the measurements of the melting point can be considered 
indeed as independent random variables of which the expectations are equal to the true melting point M. And the standard deviation is 2 degrees. If Y is the average of 100 measurements and you use Chebyshev's inequality, what is at most the probability that Y is off by more than 1 degree? Take your answers to the next class, where we will test you with feedback fruits. Thank you for your attention. Dos vedania. <laughs>